So, we're going to turn that on. We're going to take our T-Pug Disc CU-1 Commodore 64 Utilities 1 and we're going to put it in to a 1541 and we're going to load the directory. Load quote dollar sign 8 no, load quote dollar sign quote comma 8 and then we will list and there was a program I saw in here. Check disk. So we're going to load check. Asterisk. Almost shifted. I almost shifted again. And this, the disk we're going to check is. The one we copied, the 1541 test, sorry, 1541, not test demo, the one we copied CU12. So now the check disk program is going off and doing things. One thing, hmm, I hear things. Um, I'm not sure how it does this. Or what it does if it goes from program to program, or track to track, or da da da. I don't know, but it doesn't really show us much on the screen. But certainly it is working. I can hear the drive head going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, because that's what they do. Those drive heads, the little stepper motor takes them from here to there, and there to here, and here and here to there. So, I kind of wish this was showing us more about what it was doing, but it isn't. So be it. But it does make noise. So, update on Pac-Man. The Pac-Man disc is currently in a plastic bag. Yes, a Ziploc bag, which is carefully done up with a Ziploc. Um, I put in not too much dish soap, but enough, and warm water from the tap, and I shook it some, and, um, I'll let it soak. Because, you know, as I told you many times, I had it working. I had it running. It looked pretty good. And Pac-Man is a classic game made, I'm sure, remade or redone by all kinds of people. So the check disk program is running, 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 running. And just from the sounds it's making, I think it's going from file to file to file to file to file. Because it, it does seem... to be doing that. But I could be wrong. So, wait. Hmm. Oh, it's still spinning. Oh. Checked box one, track 15, sector three. Are, are these things that are bad? I don't know. There are something like 664 blocks on the disk. So I really don't feel like sitting here. For 664 blocks. I don't. But you know, back in those days, we had a lot of time on our hands. <coughs> we did. But I don't think anybody has this much time. Maybe these are the blocks that didn't have anything on them. This desk was pretty full. I'm just not sure.
certainly also we can tell this program was made to run on a VIC-20 or Commodore 64, I guess anything. Note that it is lined up very much sort of halfway on the screen. Because, of course, the 1541 disk drive was not just for the Commodore 64. It was used on the VIC-20, although they did have different versions for the VIC-20. Not that I think I have any right here. They did call it the VIC-1541. And there was also the 1540. Um, and I think the 1540... I think there was something had to be changed in it to actually have it work with the 64. I think. But then they came up with the 1541, which worked with um, the 128, the 64, the Big 20, the Commodore 64, the Commodore 128D. And maybe other things as well. So, we are checking the disk. We have checked 19 blocks of 664, but I cannot imagine that really it's checking them all one by one by one. But this was a handy thing to do way back when because, say you've got some new disks and you formatted them, before you put your vital information on them, uh, a lot of people would run this through to make sure, because sometimes disks have bad things. And um, I think the stores of the day, uh, if you went in and said, yo, I just, you know, I got this, I formatted it and it was bad, um, they would replace it, I think. I don't think you had to go through the whole company thing. I don't remember. Long time. But also, if it did come up with something bad, you could also choose to reformat it or knew it again. And that, too, could possibly sort it out. Um, but most people, I think, just would either not use the disk, um, or certainly not use it for anything critical, or, even better, take it back to where you got it, and uh, get another one. So, I don't think this is going to do the whole... I think what it did is, I think it checked the places where the programs were, and now it's checking, I think, the places where they're not. But I'm not, not sure. There is the telephone. I, of course, I'm not going to answer it. But I certainly don't want to watch this forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So let's see what we have. If only I'd known I could have set up and maybe cleaned the heads of some drives. While well, the Pac-Man disc is soaking. Okay. So, but if I was going to clean, I would need some rubbing alcohol. And a Q-tip. It's funny, from reading the instructions on this bottle, you may have heard this already, I actually realized that rubbing alcohol is for rubbing onto sore places on your body to make them not hurt. I never knew. Topical antiseptic. Relieves muscle stiffness and soreness of sprains and bruises. Who knew? So this is continuing to check. I think maybe we had 40 some empty blocks. And just the way it's going, I think it's just checking the empty ones. But I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. So one of the things, look, the tape drive. I was going to try out something on the tape drive. Because I have a cassette tape here. A T-Pug cassette tape, which actually it... it Supposedly at one point was something called D4, but that's been scratched off. And I did search the tape drive and found nothing, or the, the tape and found nothing about, um, nothing to be on this tape. It is completely blank. Um, and I was going to save one of my little torture programs using it as an example. But you see the little tabs, much like the notch on a disc, they've been punched out. So I can't write this tape. And I was going to look 
for one of the little disc protector things or some tape to put over that and of course I forgot so but at some point we will experiment with a cassette tape perhaps this one so that is running that is testing um, another thing is I look down at this Commodore 64 I see that I have a joystick plugged in remember if you have a joystick plugged in I think into port number one it can interfere with the keyboard be careful don't just immediately think oh my god my machine is broken if, the, if something is pushing the fire button or it's to one side or the other that can affect it so the things will not type right so we're now up to 38 blocks and I think maybe hopefully it's almost done if it's not then maybe we'll let it sit here and do something else go chase go we're now at 40 so what else do we have behind us <coughs> Hmm. Well, that's a fine, fine question. Remember, a watch disk drive never boils. Um, there's another picture of a bird I took, very carefully framed. It was sitting on, I think, the pole that hold, held the bird feeder in the rain. This is Daryl Sittler. This is a picture of him scoring I think just after he scored one of the goals on uh, <coughs> excuse me on February 7th 1976 he had 10 points in one game I don't think that goalie ever played again maybe that goalie never should have played at all so, this is continuing to check the disk. Oh my. I don't remember how many blocks were free. It did a whole lot of running around before. But maybe it's coming to an end. I don't know. I suppose what I could do to see how much time is involved in this, because if it's going really, if it's going to keep going like this for another six hundred and twenty some blocks, <laughs> we're moving on. What I think I'll do is I'll go over here, just where you can't see me for a second, and I will take the original disc and I will put it into a forty forty disc drive. And turn on the 8296 that it's plugged into. And see how many blocks are free. Because um, I think this is maybe something that people did. And they certainly didn't sit and watch these numbers crawl by. I think this might have been something before bed. Anyway, I'm going to go over here, I'm going to turn on the 8296, there's that magical sound. I'm going to turn on a 4040, there's that magical sound. And I'm going to type in catalog and up comes the directory and there are 47 blocks free and now this is at 52 which means um, which means we're not carrying on with this 
I'm going to do something. There is this magical key called run stop. I'm going to press it. Uh-oh. It's not stopping. I'm holding it down. Okay. And we have break in 100. So I'm sure nothing will be hurt. Well, I'm not sure, but it's a backup disk. And we're going to load the directory, make sure it's okay, which I'm sure it is. Okay, it is. So, for this moment, I'm just going to move down and say, we are done. That shows you that if you are going to run this program to check out your disk, it's a good thing, but um, do it before bed. <laughs>